the Killer Whale family, showing off their size, speed, power, and problem-solving abilities. These behaviors keep the whales active and engaged. SeaWorld's Killer Whales have inspired It's much the same with our whales. Throughout today's experience, you'll see the Killer Whales moving together in unison. These synchronized behaviors help strengthen social bonds and allow them to problem solve as a group. This is just another reason why they're known as the ocean's top predator. Their scientific name is Orsinus orca. Their common name is the killer whale. These five whales have their own personal names. Tabar, Sikari, Kamea, and joining us right here are whales Tua and Kayuke. Kamea is the youngest whale at eight years old. Kamea and Sikari's mother, Takara, is the oldest whale. She's 31 years old. Takara is also the matriarch of our pod, which means she's the leader. These whales trust us and take an active role in their own health and well-being. Through the use of positive reinforcement training techniques, we're able to teach the whales husbandry or healthcare behaviors. Jace and Casey are joining us at the slide outs to help demonstrate some of these behaviors. Thanks so much, Jacob. Hi everyone, I'm over here with 23-year-old 2R and he's demonstrating one of the first behaviors that we teach our whales. That's called a poop present. It's where the whales present their tail poops to their trainers. Not only does this behavior allow us to get a great look at the whale's entire body, but it also allows us access to the easy-to-see shallow veins that are located right here on the white undersides of their tails. Our team of veterinarians can collect blood from these veins whenever needed, and the whales are conditioned to remain calm. Just as you saw, two are demonstrating in front of me. Now, throughout today's experience, you'll see the whales getting rubbed down on different parts of their bodies, like their back, their pectoral flippers, and even their tails. These animals have a sense of the sit, so this is one way that we can build a strong relationship with them. That's right, Jace. Hey, everybody, I'm over here with the largest member of our killer whale pod, Kaiyukit. So, collecting blood samples is just one way to ensure the health of the killer whales. Another diagnostic tool that we use is how much each animal weighs. So, once a week in one of our back and chase hand pools, we weigh the whales on a killer whale size scale by asking them to slide their bodies up and out of the water, just as Titanic is demonstrating right here. Now, you'll notice a portion of his body is remaining in the water. From his dorsal fin all the way down to his tail pools, this area right here weighs hundreds of pounds. It's called his pedungle. But in order to get an accurate weight, we're going to ask him to lift that tail. Through a 
variety of ways. Some of those ways are that they will actually manipulate the global. Oh, no, 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 no,